What's bracken guys? Welcome to episode 5 of my Layton Orient Youth Academy crew mode. Thank you all for so much support recently as we'll get right into some action here in this first match against Cheltenham Town. So the starting lineup will be Mitchell, Bennett, and Davis up top. Davis been taking over for an injured Vyskorek, the Polish winger. Casty, Price, and Walker in the midfield along with Simonsen, Plateman, Usgard, Sorensen, as well as Wright uh, rounding out that back line. This pretty much is kind of our first choice of 11 other than Vyskorek who's, who's out with injury for two months uh, i believe it was like an eight some some sort of uh, injury with his like foot or something but either way we'll get into this first matchup we'll see where we are in the table uh, and we've been in some pretty good form we actually had a couple draws the last episode i believe uh but still nonetheless because of the morale being so high a lot of our players are going to be overperforming so with simulations as well as in game that's something where i'm not really too huge on the morale system because i think it kind of makes a little bit too easy at, si t at times personally at fourth level on points with Crawley Town um, as well as goal differential for that that promotion spot so that's it's gonna be a very interesting battle as you try to win automatic promotion and secure that playoff spot but right away here Cassidy gonna have an effort on goal uh, just cannot get that one through um, but some good good connection in the midfield per usual with Walker and Cassidy kind of combining right there. Uh, cannot get that pass through. What I think Bennett uh, dropping back deep in that midfield, but now playing it out wide to Davis. Uh, the young English winger has really been performing very well both in the winger and center mid roles. Bennett going to cut the ball back to Price. Back to Mitchell's going to have a go, and he's going to hit the crossbar. Tries to had a second go out of unfortunately could not get good contact, but Mitchell has been pretty unlucky in front of goal. It doesn't score too much. It's usually our midfielders uh, that seem to score the most, um, more than like Rishkodrek and Mitchell, and even and Bennett does get, uh, in, on occasion, does get those goals, of course, as striker. But of course, he's more of a bit of false nine. But some beautiful work playing out of the back. Bennett running at the defense. Uh, going to take his time, play this one to Price. Uh, who's going to wait for this beautiful run of Walker. Who's going to have a go, hit that first post, and beautiful connection between Price and Walker. Really our two playmakers uh, is how we, we approach it. Price and Walker are the playmakers. Cassidy's kind of more of the, the uh, a bit more defensive minded the engine in the midfield. We have him run around, win that ball. We love to see that type of connection from these guys. Of course, Walker, that, that beautiful hair, uh, the tucked in shirt. He just kind of looks like the type of type of man who would have a tucked in shirt is was my, my reasoning for keeping it tucked. But uh, I pretty much adjusted everyone except for Hill, um, one of the recent center mids that I got. Uh, but yeah, a great job recovering right there. I believe that was uh, Simon. Uh, yeah, that was Simon saying coming, running, rushing in, um, and getting that little header out because it looked like that was not going to be very positive. But he was able to just track back, show some of his defensive work rate, and win that header in the end when he was beat. But some good work here from Casty finding Mitchell. Unfortunately, again, very unlucky here. This game, uh, these guys, Mitchell. Uh, just cannot finish his chances. He's had like two pretty clear chances, I think. Um, and now getting beat down this wing was Simonsen. Not the best defending. Trying to rush back and stop this. He's going to go first post uh, and probably get a little bit better with that chance. Not the. I don't know what's going on there. What is that smoke? I did not notice that. <laughs> what is. There's like smoke coming out. Is it because it's cold? And what is going on with him? What is. What is what's happening right there? Uh, something very strange was going on with our goalkeeper, <laughs> but uh, I mean it worked. And then we grabbed the one 0 victory. Not a very exciting match after those moments. We just have to be more clinical as a thing in front of goal. You can see how tiny Mitchell is. By God, he's a he is very short. Uh, same with same with Davis. We got some really short wingers, but you can see the two creators, Walker and Price, walking uh, jogging off the field together. And it's wonderful to see the connection they've built. They're playing so well uh, together at the moment. I thought it would be a bit, of, a bit of an issue at times because they're both kind of similar. Walk doesn't have high stamina, so can't track back too much. And Price is definitely more attacking-minded, but they still uh, find a ways to make that midfield combination work. So moving on to Transgusins, Bakarik as well as Uskard, we are training up at the moment. We want to try to get most of the center backs high, more highly rated, as we will have some squad rotation in this episode. Phillips, the young, promising center defense mid, uh, is, going to set, is going to step into the midfield, it looks like, um, as well as we're going to just have a full rotated back line as well, uh, flipping over Cook, Schardick, Hill, Gusins, Wilson, the backup goalkeeper, again, Cassie, Phillips, Bennett, Davis going to play again, and then Bakarik and Mikhailovus will be playing as well, so... 
Um, a lot of squad rotation, obviously, is kind of necessary in these lower leagues as, like, what, 48 matches? A lot of matches get played in this league as we've been playing here against Scornth Scunthorpe United. I've been told, someone told me once that they sound like they'd be an STD, their name, but, uh, uh, just a random tidbit. So, we are now in third, clear by a point against Scunthorpe. And so this is a very big match if you want to try to secure an automatic promotion spot. Uh, so play the ball back in the middle of Phillips. Miklobus is going to have a quick little turn and have a go, but unfortunately just kind of a team effort in the end. He's pretty good with his turning, but we just have to really work on that finishing a bit more. That's really most of our wingers, honestly. Uh, we aren't getting too much goal contributions from them. So good cross put in. Uh, wasn't too... too um, dangerous though in the end so now a big ball played over the top Goosens is not very athletic but does a good job getting into that one he wins the ball initially has to try to kind of track back a little bit uh as again they just put another cross in mate and fortunately i just did not clear that one out uh not the best contact on the header played across pretty much was an assist from i think that was simonson playing it back across gold to pretty much a wide open scunthorpe united player and not that is not the best start against a team we need to at least grab some, a point against honestly and they really came out firing here again getting down this wing it's still the 18th minute so early on this match a good run from olamola looking for the cutback here and just again hitting that post and now a chance here possibly on a cross a little uh, option back inside but a great header out but the second ball we cannot win that one uh, as uh, Sharik is going to play the ball uh, I don't know what I was saying right there I know I saw but either way getting back to some more action Sharik running at the defense he looked like he was going for a shot there when he was going for a tackle but the sweat across and fortunately we are down 2-0 in the uh, just right just right before the second half right before half um and that's just not the best way to come out in this matchup not playing our best football we probably should have maybe had the stronger side against this team considering uh the opponent but every match is really important so uh and we still gotta try to implement squad rotation in the end but what we're gonna do is bakarik bennett up top phillips casty in the midfield walker is very tired along with price because they don't have the highest stamina like i said before so we might have some problems here and there but two nil making those subs now 62nd minute and oh we'll get a chance off this throw in looks like some the ball playing around a bit cassie to phillips uh looking for cassie again uh the run of bennett is a good job getting some space there gonna find the cutback to cassie who's gonna turn and have a go near post and finish the opportunity so really we were just kind of overloading like the box there with this formation is what we're trying to do get our guys forward and just try to get back in this one so now we still have quite a bit of time 65th minute is now to try to grab another goal and immediately uh, just a minute later basically davis gets this ball it's gonna run at the defense a little bit go for this one two it played over the top by bakarik um and he's gonna fight for this ball not the best clearance by that defender clearly uh so davis gonna get hold of it fine phillips back in the middle uh get the ball forward to bakarik back to bennett some good combination play back to davis for the sweat across and that is some beautiful Beautiful attacking play. That is wonderful combination. That midfield to get go two two now. Cassidy with a brace at the moment as well. I mean Cassidy nine goals in league two. Our midfielders continue to contribute so much in the attack. They know to time those runs. They get forward. And now it's 86, it's 80 second man. It seems throw-ins really create a lot of attacks. It seems like from what my career mode. It's just a random uh, little tidbit there. Phillips does a good job exploding there and playing the ball across for Bennett. Some very poor defending, to say the least, from, from uh, Scunthorpe in that one. As we now go up 3-2 in the 83rd minute. And that was a great idea to move to that 4-4-2 four, four, from, from Bugs here, looks like. And the Bennett with his kind of... He does celebrate that way a lot, it seems like. So again, Bennett grabbing... What is that? His eighth goal of the season. So him and Cassidy are... are just pretty much leading the team in goals at the moment. Uh, they're doing a good job getting forward, getting those opportunities, grabbing those goals. Of course, Bennett has scored a few from, from center mid, but of course has been playing striker also, filling in for Bakarik at times. Um, well, he didn't really fill in for Bakarik. He came in, took over for Bakarik, the youngster who was struggling at the start, and uh, Bennett has really shown well being in that false nine spot. So 3-2 three, two, three, two victory here against Gunthorpe in what was a very... Uh, important match. I mean, they're a point away from us. So we might be able to create some room, uh, some separation from them. It was a pretty even match for the most part, but we really uh, came back in that second, ha second half and Scunthorpe could not respond in the end. So you can see we're actually second now, four 
points away from Grimsby Town, who was top, and the resurgence here of Leighton Orient after what looks like could have been a pretty tough season with a lot of these youngsters still uh, trying to develop and improve. These guys have been learning on the fly, though, uh, and performing well. So Grimsby is the team we'll be playing here. Again, what would be four points away, I said before. And this is another very important match here in this episode. This is going to be a shorter episode because of that. I want to showcase the important matches uh, for you guys. And uh, this one I probably try to keep it lo lower than like 30 minutes an episode. I know some of the other ones are pretty long because of squad reports. Take so, they're like 10 minutes nowadays because of, they don't, we don't really have bold squad report sections of squad hub now. But either way, this is a very big matchup. You can see the guys walking out here. Uh, some of the usual characters, you can see Usgard writes, beautiful pants, probably should, if you guys have idea for the goalkeeper gloves, what, what color goalkeeper gloves would you like him to have, let me know in the comment section below, but really exciting one here, Usgard has been the captain, maybe we'll change captains, I'm not sure about that, but uh, he has been quality and that's kind of why I'm trying to train him up. Um, because he did get that captain spot from the start. So right in that, Sorensen, Uskar, Plateman, Simonsen, Walker, Price, and Davis making up the midfield. So Cassidy is going to get a rest. And this is going to be a very attacking midfield. Davis, Price, and Walker. But we could also really get killed on the counterattack. Then Mitchell, Bakarik, and Miklavus will be uh, up top. So this is obviously a bit of a different squad than what you normally see. Uh, this is not exactly the full first choice squad. Uh, some changes because of the, the match congestion some uh, tired legs uh, but a cross put in right away good job dealing it from from us though um, you're gonna see a lot it seems like that just in league two they cross a lot and since he has such a big back line we really do a good job stopping that uh, but now Mikel Lebus running at the defense showcasing his pace unfortunately though could not get a good effort on goal uh, decided to go like for somewhat like first time after you get the big touch but Bakarik with some good hold up play back to Mikel Lebus again with the turn uh, he's gonna try to look for the sweat it looks like but unfortunately does not work out another good turn for Mikel Lebus because unfortunately the, the what is lacking with him has really been the final product because he does a good job kind of in the final third of, of turning and um, making space but the final ball the, the pass the, the the shot is not been but a great ball there from Davis to Mitchell accelerates unfortunately a very tame finesse shot in the end again our win Fingers just struggle so much in front of goal. Definitely think they need some finishing training. I think that's something we need to think about. Now some good play though in response to Mitchell. This time accelerating pass. Can he put this one in the back of the net? Goes near post. Had the sweat it looks like as well. This time he will finish it though. Stirring the pot. Cooking things up for the lads. Oh okay. I think it's because it's cold. That's why there's those little things. It's like supposed to be the breath. I'm sorry, random, but that's what I saw before. So Mitchell getting played through by being that's Bakarik with some good hold up play uh, in the end, putting that a lot of power on it, going near post, but near the looks like the keeper nearly got a fingertip to it, just grazed by it. Uh, that would have been a huge save from him. I mean, he would have probably broke his hand with how hard those hit too. But uh, five goals for Mitchell, but bouncing back, scoring a bit more here and there. Uh, but still needs to be a bit more clinical in front of goal. I think a lot of his, a few of his goals have probably come in simulations as well. Uh, but now in the the 50, 58th minute, some good running at the defense again. The big problem with us is we don't really have exactly the most. Um, just physical midfield and they nearly take advantage of it there uh, so probably need to sub on a more defensive midfielder uh, and maybe try to train up maybe Davis Price and Walker to be a bit more better defensively but some good hold up play from Bakarik to Davis gonna see this run of Mitchell down the wing got a lot of space down here we can see if he can find the cutback uh, this looks probably what's gonna be looking for back to Bakarik and he's gonna finish that near post you love to see the surge of Bakarik in this save because he really was struggling from a start he was benched but he's, he's taking his chances of course we found out that he has pretty good potential as well and I think that's really helped him out he's getting more confidence he's grabbing more goals at least this is his fourth or fifth goal of the season now uh, he's really re rewarding but exceeder for the uh, loyalty shown actually third I thought it was a bit more but he's getting more assists also recently he's gotten quite a few assists and that's also helped his cause uh, so a great 2-0 victory against the first place team so now we, we draw basically a point away from them and we'll see how we can perform obviously the rest of the season uh, because it's going to be a good race. There's still quite a few matches left. Not uh, We are well past the halfway mark. Um, but there's still a good like third or so of the season left uh, to go. But uh, a great victory in the end. Now some more 
squad rotation. This is a weird one. Plate man's going to be in the midfield. Phillips and Casti center mid. Bennett up top. Mikla Boos is very tired on the right wing. Our left back, Simonson's going to go left wing because we don't have any other options. With Vishkorek injured. Cook, left back. Shadek, center back along with Hill. Goosen's right back. And then Wilson in net, our backup goalkeeper. So, obviously, there's been a, a lot of squad rotation um, that we've been seeing. And uh, we're going to try to take advantage of these chances some of these younger guys have to really take advantage of those chances and perform and these opportunities they're getting because there's so many games in, in this league and because of the fact they're youth players the stam stamina especially for a lot of the midfielders is very low uh so we really do have to rotate honestly or else they're gonna be dead tired in like the 50th minute they can really just go like a half some of these players but uh Mikla Boos playing the ball through here to Cassidy Cassidy has tons of space he's fairly pacey he is gonna try to go first post just hits the post though and and you can see again 62 points compared to 63 for for Grimsby uh, so it's going to be a good title race here. Cassidy though showing that engine in the midfield winning the ball going inside the Mikel Labus playing the ball through to Cassidy here and he's got some space going to look for the cutback to Mikel Labus unfortunately sends that one pretty well wide but a good chance in the end. The youngster has not really been able to take too many chances honestly. Um, the winger this winger has you know shown some pretty exciting moments, but that's just really exactly what you kind of get from a probably a young winger. Uh, you'll see some some pace, bursts of pace, but he doesn't really have the composure yet. This time, though, he's going to try to sweat the ball across. Good vision, but unfortunately, the Crew Alexandra player will get to that. Now, a good opportunity for them, but great job from Hill getting to that one. Now, the ball is going to be headed out to Mikla Boos. He's going to give Phillips the ball to Phillips. Cassie's going to have a bit of space, but unfortunately, cannot make anything out of that. So, he decided, okay... We're going to take off Mikla Boost, and we're going to bring on this youngster, Hill. Uh, he's six foot. He's pretty attacking-minded player. One-star weak foot only, but he does have four-star skill moves. I was kind of debating whether he wanted Hill or not out wide, but uh, four-star skill moves left-footed, and he actually has pretty good finishing. I, uh, his shooting, you can see just in the preview, 64 shooting is not bad. So he has some long shots. He has some finishing ability. You can see his first touch of the game here. I haven't really used him. Uh, I play, let him play in a sim, sim match. His first pass was, obviously wasn't the best, but Plate Man's going to play the ball back out here to cast. Uh, then Hill again deflected his pass, so not the best original touches there. But Bennett's going to get the ball in some space. Play it to Phillips. Nutmegs Bennett, the, the guy marking Bennett right there, and Bennett finishes that one. We got to see the replay. That is some beautiful play from Phillips. These guys could possibly be rivals for a midfield spot in the future, which is kind of weird. Um, because I mean, Phillips has tons of potential, and he's showing that right there. But connecting with Bennett, look at that Meg completely through the legs and Ben is a great job finishing that chance um, Ben hasn't showed too much like composure in these spots but he is looking pretty good here as what is his on the season he has nine goals nearly hitting the double digit mark uh, you could probably do that maybe in this game or um, may, probably by the end of the season he should be well past the 10 goals and, uh, but uh, a wonderful well running performance from the side love to see that it was tough, obviously, with match congestion. A lot of young players who necessarily aren't at the highest level. But Plate Man getting into that midfield, doing a very good job there. We didn't have the most attacking midfield, and that's why this game was kind of uneventful. It was, it was Plate, and then I think it was Phillips and, and someone else. So uh, didn't really have too many attacking uh, creative players in there, other than the wingers who have a bit of pace. So Mikel Boos really couldn't take his chances. Uh, but in the end, we took advantage of the little opportunity we had and were able to grab the victory. Now a sim match here against... Uh, a team I did the, actually this, I did the previous Youth Academy career mode that was a stream crew mode with them before so that was cool but still 1-1 one, one draw I think it's fine because I, if I probably would have won the game I'd rather have a draw and a loss or an occasion to make things more interesting personally so now against Mansfield another team I've done a, a, a road to glory with in like FIFA 18 grabbing a 2-1 victory thanks to a goal off the bench from Bakarik and then Walker grabbing a goal as well another sim match I'm sorry about all the simming but we really want to try to push forward here maybe make things a little bit more interesting so the forest we end up drawing with them nil nil Casty was only out for like actually a week with that injury or a week or two thankfully uh or else that have been pretty difficult now another send one walker and davis getting on the score sheet thanks to uh yeah good performances i guess but now moving into some training we're going to train up cook as well as uskar a bit more so cook uh i want to see him hit that 60 overall so you can see maybe if he does have potential um he does have a like yeah potential status 
But moving on here into April, uh, we're going to be having some big big matches for sure. And we're going to take a look at some of the growth of these players as well really quickly. See one sitting up to the 60. Uh, doesn't have a status yet. We want to take a look at the possible statuses of other players. It's just kind of the main thing to round out this episode. Of course, showing great potential as Plate Man. Um, then Phillips, of course, had one as well. Exciting prospect. Has potential to be special with Phillips. So really good midfield we're going to have, like I said before, with Phillips uh, in price there. Going to really be able to, to turn things around. Of course, Plate can definitely play in the midfield as well. Um, and we'll take a look at some other players also, see if they have any potentials. Nothing yet. Miklubus maybe could have one, but I'm not, I don't really think he will. Vishkorek nor Mitchell have a potential status. But Bakarek is has the showing great potential. Of course, he's gone up to the 64, and he's been really solid, as we'll look a little bit more at the uh, overall improvements of the players. So... Right up to the 60, 63. Wilson I, up to the 62. Morrison up to 55. Alexander has decent potential. He's 56 overall at the moment. Simonson has grown to the 60 by two points. Cook, I did sh just start training. Obviously, when I get to the 60. Oscar, I trained up to a 60. Shadik, I trained as well early on up to 57. Along with Hill up to 57 thanks to training. So, we've really been training all the center backs. Sorensen up to 62. We could probably train him. Goosen's up to 56 thanks to tons of training. Plateman up to 65. Did train him a little bit early on. Have not trained Phil. Phillips, I don't think, but he's up to a 62 overall, so that's promising. Davis up to the 63, Walker up to 64, 70 is Price. I have not trained him once, but he's grown by six points in this season, so he's already a 70 overall, and that's very promising, obviously. Cassidy up to the 60, unfortunately, he didn't have a status or anything, but again, with him, it's all about the strength. He has high strength, high jumping. He's not good tactically, but physically, he's very solid. Bennett up to the 63 overall as well. Lance Hill up to 56. Miklibus only up to 59. He's not really grown too much. And Bennett is very strong physically also. I mean, he has some good pace, strength, and stamina and jumping. Uh, so that is kind of the positive things with him. McGuire drew the last real player left, basically. Vishkarek up to a 64. Mitchell up to a 66. Bakarek up to a 64 as well. And, of course, physically, decent pace and agility. Um, so he's good in those aspects and technically very good ball control dribbling as well. Just got to gotta get the finishing up. And I think once he does, he'll be a really incredible striker for us. But I've really been enjoying recording these episodes, guys, as I'll wrap this one up by taking a look at the... Uh, uh, the, the calendar basically so again we'll be playing Newport who is right behind us right behind us by three points in the next episode we'll be playing them and we have like seven matches left in the season but we're, we're in the title spot now we're first place on 80 points it's been very tight this season I was not expecting to win the title at all I thought we were going to just be competing for a playoff spot but uh, we're well within kind of automatic, we're pretty close to automatic securing automatic promotion because, I mean, seven points behind is Grimsby, who's in the playoff spot. So as long as we get some results, we should be promoted automatically. But we would love to win the title in our first season uh, with this whole Youth Academy side together. But uh, with that, guys, thank you all for tuning in. Of course, a big match against Newport County, who is third coming up. Uh, and I definitely am looking forward to that as we can glance at the calendar really quickly. Should be finishing the season in the next episode, guys. With that, thank you all for tuning in, my beautiful Chalupa lovers. It's been great having your support on this series. I, I love do, enjoy, I'm really in, enjoying recording career mode so much. With that, thank you all for all the support. I love you all. Thank you for tuning in. I'll be signing out now, and I'll catch you guys later. Hit that like button. Yeah, I love you. Bye.